So, this study is probably going to be very short, but it's something not covered earlier in other studies dealing with being doers of the word, being able to see the result that the Bible speaks of. Because all who do according to the instruction of the word of God are going to receive the benefits of that. And Jesus mentions two, two particular things that are going to get in the way of his ability to work in a person. And these are unforgiveness, bitterness, or resentment towards something, something <clears throat> that was done to you or something that happened in your life that you haven't let go of. And this is, it could likely be something held against God or held against another person who was made in the image of God. And it's like what James says in his epistle. Bitter water and sweet water cannot pro proceed from the same fountain. This cannot be. As you bless God with your tongue, but then you curse men who are made in the image of God. That is something that shouldn't happen. And so, bitterness and unforgiveness, these, of all things, are going to do the most damage to one's ability to receive from God, particularly in the areas of healing. And I'm also going to point out that Jesus, in his ministry, had not yet ascended to the Father, and so the Holy Spirit was not given to people, and he went around healing those who had faith who came to him, and some even had such faith where, like with a centurion who wanted his servant healed, said, just speak the word and it'll be done. And Jesus marveled at that faith. So, you have to come to God believing that he is God and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And so, expectation basically is what you're expecting, well, of course, from what you're doing. And if it's in line with God's will, you know his will. His will is his word. Those things in his word are his will. And so he wishes that everybody would be in good health, prospering as their soul prospers. How do their soul prosper? They are those which are covered and saturated in the Word of God. The Word of God being the way, the truth, the life, the healing, the salvation, the strength, the peace, and all those things that a person is looking for. And he is the only source of those things. And so, if you want to receive those things in your life and not be moved by circumstances or the instability of the world around you and the instability of the unsaved people around you and whatever else is going on, then you need Jesus. And so, he is the only one that can do these things. And it doesn't matter where you are, what the conditions are, his word can still minister to you anywhere, everywhere. He is not limited. People may be limited. God is not limited. People cannot change people, but God can change people. And situations might not be affected at all by any kind of human intervention, but God can do anything. He is not limited. With God, all things are possible. And those who trust in him will not be disappointed. So, it starts with knowing Jesus. So, all fall short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through his Son, Jesus, the Christ of God, Jesus Christ the salvation and the anointing of God. So, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And as Romans chapter 10 verses 8 to 13 point out, you confess with your mouth 
Jesus says, Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And even more than this, when you repent of wicked ways and depart from evil, you depart from sin and live according to the instructions of the word of God, you'll be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Even ask him for it. That's what happened to the house of Cornelius and the Apostle Peter says, why should we withhold water from these people who receive the same gift as we have? And so they got baptized. Acts chapter 2, verse 38 speaks, Repent of your wicked ways, depart from evil, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, you do those things, you're going to get the results. And it is simple. People try to complicate it, but what you see written in the Bible is how it is. And so, it starts with knowing Jesus. Lord, do a quick work in these people's hearts that if they have not received you as Lord and Savior, I pray they will do so now. So all you who need Jesus, repeat after me. Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Wash me and cleanse me, Lord. Set me free. Fill me with the Holy Spirit, Lord God. And thank you that you died for me. I believe that you are risen from the dead, that you're coming back again for me. Give me a hunger and a thirst for the things of God, of your kingdom. Lord, give me a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm forgiven. I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. So, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I tell you today, all your sins are forgiven. Always remember to run to God, not from him. He loves you. He has an awesome plan for your life. So, the revival is going on in Orleans County, New York, the river at Orleans County, New York. So, if you can get out this way, you're welcome to come, and it's highly recommended. So, God bless you.